battle is over. Cordelia's army has been defeated. Poor King Lear is shattered. He has lost all hope. Oh my god, what has happened? My one fallacious decision has led to catastrophe and she's gone forever. Cordelia? Oh Cordelia, stay a little, huh? I pray you to all do this button. Oh, the ultimate deity, for me to be or not to be, that is the question. Oh, my beloved Cordelia. Oh, my good lord, the king has taken his last breath. There are several victims of his folly. But I am the only witness of his plight. The Duke of Albany must reign over all of Britain, for I must soon depart to continue my services to my lord. That fateful day changed it all. Only if I was able to mediate the rashness of my old impulsive lord. Now we must express our purpose. We must be relieved of all duties of state to prevent any strife that may come after and meet the gods. My beloved daughters, I shall divide the kingdom of mine into three. Educate me of your love and I shall confer you with the part of my kingdom. My is born, speak the first. Gondrel and Regan are made of the same metal. They do not fail to flatter King Lear. Honest Cordelia could not heave her heart into her mouth and made his majesty aware that she loves him according to their bond, no more nor less. Deer is utterly disappointed by his youngest and favourite daughter's reply. He banishes and disowns her out of fury. The King of France sees a virtuous lady in Cordelia and chooses to take her by hand without any dowry, unlike the Duke of Burgundy. The wise Kent was banished because he supported the young girl, only to return later as Lear's servant. Lear divides his kingdom in two, keeping a hundred knights with him. I want to have word with Duke of Cornwall and his wife. Sorry, sire, the two cannot meet you due to the tiredness of traveling last night. Tiredness? Go! Find a better excuse. I want to meet both of them and I will not let them rest until I speak to my daughter and her husband. Greetings, father. Regan, I have decided to stay with you along with my hundred knights. Your sharp tongued sister demanded that I reduce the size of my party. I hear my lord. I must agree with my sister. Her reasoning that you're growing old, and thus Sinai is so wily that you must keep no more than 25 knights if you decide to sojourn at my palace. Your knights have to be fed well, and the righteous behavior is dangerous. Greetings, father. Why do you even need 25? You may live without all the knights. You have all our servants and us at your service. You have fathered the two queens of Great Britain. Oh, do not ask me why I need them. Even the poorest beggar have some meager possessions which they don't really need. If you allow people no more than they what absolutely needed to survive, then man's life is as cheap as beasts. Your words are more growling than a snake's bite. I shall go mad. Let us proceed inside our chambers. The storm is fast approaching. It will be a ten of night. My dear, Bari Bari Desha mein aise choti choti baate hoti rehti hai. Let us move inside. Har rishte mein to hum tumhare father aur father in law lagte hain. Naam hai liya. Yet you children are the embossed carbuncle on my skin. Go, go, someday, sometime, this poor old man's curse will show you. Oh, tum dono, listen carefully. I'll speak very fast. He got a roof up his head, he got threats to wear, he got food to eat, and he's the one who nobody can be. He makes the world around here in this unholy world. He, he should be loved. He is the one who spent sleepless nights. He is the one who just wants hot lights. He is the one who bears a lot of pain, but bears no gain. Let's 
I turn the planet and spell the world. Crack open all the moles from the gates of your own human being. And spill all the seeds from its ungrateful human being. Oh, uncle, uncle. It's better to sit and chill rather than getting soaked in the storm's rage here. Oh, please, uncle, let us go. Ask your daughters to forgive you. Let the thunder spit fire. Let the lightning spray. Let the rain spray. The thunder, the wind, the lightning, they're not my daughters. Oh, nature, I don't accuse your weather of unkindness. Oh, nature, I am a terrifying point. I stand right in front of you. As a slave, a poor, weak, old man. Oh, it's foul. Oh, fool, I still go mad. This storm and my mental state is alike. Oh, fool, I shall go mad. Ha, ha, ha. Now you will know who Edmund is. What fools have I made out of this? They said I'm a base. They said I'm a bastard. Now, talk. What bastard? What base? Bastardy, base, base, my friend, only who, who is wise wins the game of thrones. Have a look, this happy kingdom with frolicking children and joyful parents is now destroyed. This is the excellent property of this world, how everything gets shattered in just a matter of few days. Oh God, I'm finally happy. My path to authority and power is now clear. Lear and Fool are stumbling around in the darkness. This terrible star. Hail the good lord. It is the king. My lord, you deserve better. My king allow me to send you to Dover. A foreign power shall welcome you. Do not stay here. It's a dangerous place. A place not fit for housing you, my lord. I urge you to leave for Dover. No! I need time to discuss and ponder with the philosopher on the dilemmas of life. Ashmar has a lot of money. What do have? He is hunted by fine spirits. Tom needs to be back in the cave. My lord, please relax. I beg you to come with us. My lord, quick. We must put the king on the car. Hey driver, take us to Dover. We must reach before troops of Regan and Gondry's search party find us. Oh Cordelia, or do you know how many orbits that the earth take around the sun? Or how many orbits that the moon take around the earth? Or do you know how many oranges there are in a dozen? Twelve, my lord. Oh Cordelia, do not worry. Your sanity has become blurry. He's been acting like he's got no clue. I don't know if it's true. Because I ain't got no proof. Phew. Thug ya, yaar. Chill, my Oh, Cordelia. I love you. I missed you. I am an abandoned dagger. Big old man. Who no one ever wants to talk to. I hate tears. In a torch tarot, my men and I are always at your service. Kindly escort King Lear to the doctor's chamber. The British army, commandeered by Goneril and Reagan, attacks the French army. The French army is outnumbered. Outgunned. French soldiers are severely hurt. Innocent souls slaughtered. Revenge and hideous conspiracies and rivers of blood have taken custody of the Kingdom of Great Britain.